Alright, and welcome to a little bit of Kenshi. The, um... The game's still in alpha because it's on that new uh, Steam. Buy it before it's fully released, help people sort of thing. Uh, some of the flaws in this game, there has been reported quite a few bugs and crap. Uh, luckily I have not discovered any bugs, anything which is. Error is slightly tedious is the loading, as you can see now. And there is still no audio yet in it. So some of you may slightly recognize the little tune in the background, which I just got the Dungeon Siege from the original Dungeon Siege game. They're sort of in the background looping around, so it seems to just do the job a little bit. Uh, I'm still injured from a previous battle. We're trying, let's try and talk. Kind of a first impression sort of thing here. And um, I've been playing this game for about two hours, and for some reason the frame rate's just gone. Pfft, fuck you. Why has that gone down? I've never seen this game run at 25 frames a second before. Oh no, I remember 40 there. Look at the plus side. So, um, God, I don't even know what to compare this to. I, I originally brought it because it's like a uh, Mountain Blade sort of meets. I don't, I don't know where I was going to go with that, but I also did forget that I have not put myself on away mode to bear with me. Okay, I am now back online, but I did realize that F9 before record is also for quick load. So I am back at the trade, which is too, around there, so it's not too much of a deal. Right, um, you have a little talk about really what's up. Look at the stats. First, I'm going to show you the sort of statistics and sort of weapons that we got. <coughs> I didn't notice harpoon guns before, <laughs> nor have I noticed turrets, which is quite interesting. As you can see, um, I started as a wanderer, so everything was just one on my stats. Everything was just basic. I think athletics was actually 25 or 20. I don't read it for So, um, I have been in a few battles, as you can see here, by accidentally hitting the inventory. I also have a back. Okay, let's. We can talk about the backpack for a second. Hey, move. Alright. I was talking to you about the battle, because I was also in a battle, as you can see here, your health. And then once I had a bug where I died, but was still alive. Which is interesting, but I couldn't interact with anything, so I thought I had to, I had to load it. Oh, I can't just hit the first button. I'm looking for building materials. You can also build in this game. I'll show you. Oh, I vaguely show you. I haven't got any building materials. That's why I got the backpack. So I can carry building materials back to my little uh, my little hangout place. I don't know if you can quite see it. I'm over here in, honestly, clown steady. There's a little training outpost. I got my outpost just there next to uh, Brink. So what I was going to do is just have like a little little mini farm water well sort of thing and just produce useful goods and sell it on. Get rich, hire guys, make a, have a farm, etc. And then, so, why do I keep hitting that button? And uh, then pretty much take over the world. But I'm also researching, well I was going to research simple training dummies, but they only take you to level 5, and as we've seen I'm really like level 4. I'm level 4 so there's not really much point of caring much about it, because I'll probably end up getting that way before I even finished building the house. So, um, so here you got farming, smithing, defense, we'll see industry as well, I didn't miss out. I didn't miss out, I missed, what the hell just happened here? There are battles going on. Okay, cool. I'll show you some battles in a minute. I'm just going to loot these guys like weapons. I can sell it on for some profit. Sweet, sweet profit. That I'm pretty injured from my last battle, so I don't think <laughs> jumping straight into another one's probably not going to be too good of an idea. But you do have this uh, block puncher down here, which boosts your defense right up and your attack skill down. So you don't attack the enemy, you just hold out like crap in fit combat, hoping that your other fellow friends like this police officer here will run down and help you. There's also a speed up button here, because as you can imagine running around big vast deserts, if you're, especially if you're heavy in weight like I am, it's going to take some while, so it's nice to see that they have included that. I will try and do a journey somewhere. It's going to end up me getting ambushed. I'm going to have to run back. But um, big map. This is this is probably one of the most sandboxy sure That's now a new word. There are a lot of bodies around me. Sorry for turning off. <laughs> Jesus Christ, a lot. But um, 
this game is near what I would call the pretty the pinnacle. I hope that's the right word. Prince. Okay, it's not the prince. It's <laughs> it is a sandbox game true in its heart, and not just because. Ha ha! You're in a desert. Slap your knee. I'm hilarious. Sort of way. It's um. I'm trying to see what you can do apart from probably great people. And I reckon there's Japanese games for that, so... But, <laughs> no, no, you can seriously, um, they're all bandits over there. So, I'm gonna show, show, I'm gonna show you some fighting in a minute, but as I was saying, you've got buildings and tech and stuff, like I could build small shacks, um, this is only what I've got so far, I haven't got any crafting. Let's build a small farm. It's red because I can't build there, and blue because I'm too close to another city. You've got wells, obviously for water and crap. In your interior, you got stone mining places, but little generators. Generators are kind of cool. Something useful anyway. And a uh, research bench, which I need to put into a house. That's why I'm building my house currently, which why I'm looking for um, building materials, as it were. So um, my left leg is alright. I should be able to run away if worse goes to worse. There's only three of them. I don't know how damaged they are. But just on principle of them being more than I, and I'm injured and low uh, s stats anyway, I'm just going to go back and get some aid from these guys. Run away. Running doesn't do anything. Alright, we've got, we've, got, we've got guys here now. You can pause at any time in issue orders, because... Um, I'll show you what kind of people you can start off with, with in a minute. And show you through um, what would be the character selection area, and I just got hit hard. Uh, basically, it's kind of standard of any RPG. You got your stats, your figures, you got you know your certain types of weapons and stuff. And you just sort of just attack like that. I wasn't quite so dramatic. I had been in much more dramatic fights. I remember I was being chased by the Roman Empire for a long time. But it's sort of like a Shogun era or the Senku Jedi era of Mad Max. That's what I'm going to say is. It's Mad Max in Japan. Japan is she area. <laughs> if Japan was a desert, this would be Mad Max. And I am absolutely injured. That is horrible. And I'm bleeding. <clears throat> the more damage you do, the more you bleed. I believe you can break your legs and stuff, but I haven't quite managed to hit the minus point so far. Oh, I really need to get some more um, some more health. You kind of, well, I say say you guys, I'm not going to play. <laughs> like, why do you come and watch me play at this time? I kind of recorded a uh, a little pickle segment, let's say, as I'm in. I hope for bad as just to throw these in here. He's got enough room. He's got enough gold for me to store them, so. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've got enough money now to buy building utensils. Now that we can run, I'll show you. I'll try and show you a little bit of the uh, building. Bad thing is, I think I remember the building supplies being in Shark. Alright, let's get ready for a nice little run. <laughs> that on top? Yeah, Jesus. I want to run the wrong way. <laughs> I'm gonna fast forward to when we're at Shark, or unless something interesting happens in the way. Halfway, I'll really show you back. Oh wait, but that's too. Ah, oh, I'm gonna quick save because I'm gonna press this, and I can't change the control scheme from inside. Why did I? Wonderful. I thought actually, as we are running, while while this blows up properly. I thought while we're running, see we haven't really gone that far. Um, this stuff is actually really nice and pleasant once you sit down and play it yourself. But uh, I was going to go through the, uh, not, not quite the tech itself, but talk about factions. Uh, I haven't really tried out my uh, myself properly, but at the start on your character creation, you have a race, sort of quote unquote, sort of situation. Where you can be either a human, 
it's loading. You can either be a human or you can be a uh, tribal, which, to be honest with you, being being an alpha, the customization is limited, so I don't know if it will change. Holy shit. What the hell's going on here? I don't know if it will quite change for everybody. Once the game has been patched a little bit more, if there is a difference between it, but I don't know if it's directly between, say, um... being a good citizen, sort of um, kind of thing, or just being one of your little bandit sort of guys. You've got like sand ninjas and stuff. Don't get me wrong, sand ninjas are pretty cool, because the word itself sounds cool. These red guys are the, um, I believe, the Roman Empire guys, which if you start off as like the captain survivor guy, um, they, they hate you quite badly. So you always could be careful, <laughs> careful of those as well. Like right now, I've kind of just jumped in and helped them with battle, which is crazy because this guy's really gonna kick my ass. Like he's got a saber type weapon, and they're really, they're um, they're gonna be. St Did I die? He broke my chest. Is that just what happened? Was my talking and not going? We should move on. <laughs> Interrupt this craziness. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I just saw it go from minus five to the minus four. If that'd be the case, I like these guys to come and help me, guys. Guys over here, uh, guys. Guys. <laughs> oh, I remember that happened once to me before. I was like, I just die. <laughs> Doesn't really quite tell you if you die because if you've got more people, I believe you can um, you can pick up your dudes and you can take them somewhere else and you can like get them healed properly. But um Really? You assholes. <laughs> oh I'm back. Yay. I believe that is where we're heading. There's also a uh, trading that's what I thought it was the chest thing down at the bottom. I keep using my fingers to point to things then I kinda of realize you can't see where I'm pointing. So I used the mouse. The uh, chest like I'm down here I managed to uh, somewhat heal itself if we just dealt me a heavy blow gut. But um I mean it's a trading outpost near here, isn't it? Sorry, I just got you out, yeah, it's more north. Um I can talk with you a little bit about weapons. I'll just show you the pop up in it go. So you can tell the sabers, hackers and heavy weapons, blunt martial arts. Most of them are pretty straightforward. Um they do have uh, things there which I will read to you once we get to somewhere relatively safe. So I'm going to save again now because if something bad happens again. Sun. But, um, yeah. You do get some really nice lighting already in an alpha stage. You've got some nice lighting in this game. But, uh,. Oh man, I forgot what I was going to say. I was talking about saving, and it reminded me, currently in the alpha you can only have one save. And even then you have no control where to save, or where to load, to be honest with you. It's purely quick save and quick load. Uh, one character. And that is it. So far. So I'm not, I'm not expecting that to be carrying over into the actual game. But at the same time, it's quite interesting. Cause it kind of forces me to stick more with one character. So I remember um, I've already made like a lot of characters. I've made about five, maybe six new games already, and I think and I only played this for two hours. So you can imagine how little I've done with these characters. And this is the only guy that I've sort of done something with. You know, I've, he's got um, some armor. He's better with weapons, sort of thing. Can I just run up this cliff? If this is a fast game. I'll just keep telling him to jump. Making it? No, it's not. I'm not quite sure how the pathfinding works in this game, so um, we'll run around. Wait, I'm here. That's what? 
Oh god damn, I know what I've done. During that combat I got mixed up and phased, meaning I thought what I saw on the cliffs was shark. And I was like, are we here already? Wow, that's impressive. But really, I just ran back to the place I started out. To which I'm now just going to show you then, um, the vague customization that we can do. Because I could show you my house nearby. My outpost. I'll show you what I have planned for my outpost. And I'll show you the, uh, the customer station sort of sort of thing. But, um, really nice landscapes. I've never seen these pixelated. Are they bodies? Oh, they're people. I don't think this up here in the top northern. Oh, the upside of my screen. I think that's just pixels going crazy. I know, I knocked my DVI cable quite <laughs> somewhat badly, touch wood, the, um, yesterday, so. I don't want to think it's that, but it is a possibility. Right, I'm out of post little. Cut from down there. You can run up this cliff. I've run through these mountains a few times before. You know, if, you know, if you're one of the people that like big. Well, if you're thinking this place looks quite barren, you must remember that you can build pretty much anywhere you want to. As long as it's not directly in a close proximity to another city. So you can literally build everything around here. And if you want to, you can name stuff yourself. Like in, um, what's my guy doing? Like, rocks, rocks, rocks! <laughs> I just remember what actually is in my little outpost. To be honest with you, it's nothing. I need to go north, I'll keep going the wrong way. There it is! <laughs> that! I bet you're pretty jealous. <laughs> they better be good guys in my way. Oh no, they're not. Fudge. Once I have a house there, I'll be safe. Actually, I won't because they'll just run to the house and slaughter me. Well, you can control your guy, I don't know if you've probably picked it up by now. You can either do the old Diablo, hold the run button, and he follows the cursor. Or if you want to, I don't know why you would play it like this. Oh god, they're coming after me. Oh no god. Oh god, I shouldn't be talking about that. I should just be running for my life. Run to safety. To safety. <laughs> I'm quite heavy as well because I've been carrying the spat pack. Spat packs do actually sort of, like, limber you up a little bit. You get awkward to that and I am brutally damaged already. But good thing is, they stop the swing and you can just run away from it. Yeah. I do hope that we get to uh, some guards soon. I like to try the the uh, block. Actually, I want to show you. A little, I want to show you what the com combat is because there there is a lot of potential in this game. Like, I don't know if I how many times I've said it, but I said it a few times. Ah! <laughs> I said it a few times that like, we are still only in alpha, so um, it will be interesting. I don't have a block. I want to get used to my using my katana. Attack! That was amazing. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward it so um I I'll recover. In the meantime, I will read out some of the um the weapons, the weapon things. Um, okay. Oh, katanas. Uh, effects damage katanas are a common weapon and their quality varies greatly. Most are scavenged goods uh, with a history of owners and barely good for scrap. Masterworks are around, however, and their speed and cost of power is unrivaled by any other blade. As I just demonstrated for you there. That's why I want to use the katana. I want to get a really nice katana and be like this samurai god of owning places. Alright, sabers. A saber is a heavy blade designed for heavy slashing damage. The heavier the blade makes them slower and more cumbersome. 
but stronger for blocking with and cutting through on. Hackers. Most normal people struggle to even lift a fool. Wait, am I on heavy weapon? I'm on hackers. I'm on. Ha I was on heavy. Okay. Hackers. <laughs> Often considered a thug's weapon, uh, hackers are heavy axe-bladed weapons that do as much blunt damage as chopping damage, relying mainly on brute strength rather than skill. Easy to learn, not much to master. Um, that reminds me, what was? What was he talking about again? Oh, I got people. One second. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm back. Wow, cool. I had to leave for like an hour because someone arrived. That's why I came back. My voice like, hey, I'm back. And um, yeah, I'm still dead. Well, I'm not dead. I'm just really badly injured, lying in the middle of a desert while there are people around who can help me. But I decided to go down there. Maybe maybe that fight lasts longer. I believe I was reading out the weapon types, but um. Yes, kitty cat, meow next to the door. That's no, I'm gonna open the door. I'll give it for two minutes and she'll be back meowing again. To come back in. It's quite irritating. Alright. I assume you know what the other things are. I read heavy weapons just to kind of clarify everything that you can use to start off with. I believe you can start off with this or it's just um This is what you call it. Just not available yet in the alpha. That's what it's going to say. Leaving away for a couple minutes apparently derails your mind completely. And I am. I am hurt. Just lying there. But, um, I don't know what I have spoke to you much about features. I think I was going to show you my little. my little house and what I have planned. Yeah, cat! Yeah! Yeah, look, look, give it some food. Oh, cats. <laughs> but uh, what I will show you, we're going to avoid all this, and I'm going to show you the uh, customization screen slash everything else. The only thing is, in this game, if I click exit game, it is going to take me straight out of game completely. I like to hit main menu, and it'll take me to the main menu. But that apparently doesn't work, so I actually have to quit the game and come back into it again. So, bear with me. Alright, so I guess we're back showing you the uh, new game stuff. There you go. Choose your beginnings. I clicked Wonder because it's like the most uh, bog standard thing. Like you are by yourself, you are starting with crap stuff, a little bit of cash. Go! <laughs> and you're like, I don't know what to do. I still don't know what to do in this game. I'm still there, like, uh, <laughs> confusing as crap. But you can do it, it's a lot more engaging. I mean, it's one of those RPG sort of games where you speak to people and you know crap. You know, like hiring guys at the bars, building farmlands and stuff like that. Okay. Then you got the uh, Freedom Seekers. Their little uh, quotation is fed up with stifled city life and taxes. You gather a band to head out and found your own home base. You have assembled a group of five other like minded people and you've gathered a good supply of building materials to get started with. So, um, yeah, I was originally going to pick that. And I was in the middle of fucking nowhere, like in the middle of the desert, but it doesn't narrow it down in this game. But, um, and I was building and I had it on fast forward. I think I turned around again because my cat meowed at the door. I turned around to let her out. I came back and there was just a bunch of bandits slaughtering everyone. I had one guy limping away, like, run! Get to safety! Get help! But that didn't really work, so I started again. It's a wonder. <laughs> the retired captain. I don't know if I should say that as a Cornish accent or not. Alright, retiring from military service, you find yourself penniless and hungry. Good stuff. With nothing but your trusty sword and the shirt on your back. Years of fighting experience have left you with good combat skills, but you will need them if you run into any troops from the Holy Empire. Those guys really hate you. So, I'm not too sure if you've got character story, because I like to find out why they hate the captain. But then at the same time, this is sort of like a backstory of this guy who's good with a blade. So you start off good in combat already, which um, which personally would have been much easier for me. So I did try after I first started playing in the Wonder, but then I ran into a little empire guy like fuck. 
didn't, didn't end too well. Let's say that. The Survivors. Um, so I haven't tried this one yet. I'll read it there. Conscripted into the military, you find you find you found yourself on the wrong side of a losing battle, and your entire platoon is slaughtered. An unknown amount of time passes, and you wake up to find your old buddy is still breathing, but in dire need of medical attention. To which I assume you start off your guys on the floor, you pick them up, take them to a place, heal them up, and then there's two of you burrowing through the world. Sounds good. And the Wandering Trader, which is quite similar to the Wanderer, but you... I'll read it. Seeking to make your fortune, you spent the last of your savings on a backpack full of trade goods and are about to start a new life as a trader. Which, um, you do actually meet a lot of random trainers, like, knocking about, which is pretty interesting as well, because you can follow them, like, protect them while they travel through the universe. Or to the universe? Through, <laughs> through the deserts. And things like that. If this game goes into the universe, the more I play, it would be, be interesting. <laughs> and back down to the Wanderer. Alright, I'm going to show you some, um... On the survivors, I'll show you a little bit of the customization, quote unquote, because I have seen a lot of different styles of people. And why am I, why am, why am I looking at this guy again? I don't, I don't, what, what? That ain't cool. What's this all about? Ah, what's happening? Again, this game is still an alpha. <laughs> This isn't the customization screen. What are you doing? <laughs> the Khalid is. D I don't know who Khalid is. What's going? Not Carp. Who are these people? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Oh god damn it, I don't want to back out that far. <laughs> what? Can I make my existing character black? No, what's that all about? <laughs> oh, I want to make a really fat sound right now. That would just be quite amusing. But, um... Alright, I'll... I'll Unrecord and then try and get back to this location. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> try and get back to this location again. Bear with me. All right, cool. Um, I believe it's worked. I put these survivors, and as you can see, apparently everybody's just dead around us. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you can switch between male and female. I have some pictures of female characters and stuff, but um, again, alpha. Uh, this section in particular is very limited. Like pretty much all of my guys just look like that. But um, whoa, where do you go? Where are you going? Where are you going? What? Up? Uh, what? Wh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I still customize? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, Barryman, do that again. Okay, this time I picked the Freedom Seekers because they be dead. You know, we, with the, but they're nothing but a bunch of traders apart from the old soldier. But I assume. He's clunky because he's old. So I'm finally going to show you the very limited uh, character sort of um, customization at the start of this game here. So as I was saying, between human and tribal, there is there is no actual difference <laughs> as of yet between them. But I like to um, possibly believe that tribal may alter factions and stuff. And this music in the background is getting incredibly loud. Uh, face again. Doesn't really do anything. Wait a minute, no, face you used to be able to change because there are two set models to start off with. And for some reason now, face isn't working. I played Jim Bad. 
or Marasu. Mara? La? What is the look? Marasu. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you can change the color of your guy still if you want to be Slavic white or, um, I don't know what sort of black that is. I'm gonna say that like, not Kenya black. And like, you know when black's like really black. You got black people, but then you got really. Okay, that's not. <laughs> I don't know where sort of that dark start of skin comes from. Maybe Jamaica. Jamaica black. Jamaica's quite dark. But um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. You can you can. Why is the music so loud? Now I'm a giant. Okay, this is not working as a wizard. I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown one of these days. I don't know if you can still hear me. Can you still hear me? I don't know. I got an error message. Did I get an error message? I heard a brand. What, is, what, what does that mean? Okay. This is this this is the last time. I tried to turn down the music because it was incredibly be loud and what has I was like, oh no, that sounds you know the old old tab or control task manager thing. Like Kenshi has crashed. I'm like, yay That's the first one has crashed, and I'm glad it happened during the video opposed to, you know, when I don't need it to. Um <laughs> Alright, I'm going to hopefully try and show you this small little fragment once again of possibly try- Why is the face now not working? There are two different people and now I can't show you. <laughs> Alright. And that, my dear friends. Attack! Bring it on, samurai bro. He's gonna kick my ass, isn't he? Uh oh, go defensive. And because of now, I'm about to die and block like a badass ninja. Um. Wow, this. Oh no! <laughs> I literally have no. Oh, what happened? I'm on block now. My defense skills gone. Bro I'm dead. But uh. <laughs> I ran out of blood because I'm unconscious, and then I'm gonna die. But this game, <laughs> I want to show you some of the building stuff properly as well. Okay, once um, I get my bearings more of this game, and hopefully I can show you more things, I will do another video. But um, very interesting concept. I've actually never seen this place before. Where is this? To? I don't know. There's a place there. The more you know, there's a place there as well, and there and there. Oh wow! Right, um, Kenshi, good old school RPG fun, um, still at alpha, so there's no audio, so I've got Dungeon Season music in the background, which is working fine, I don't know if you heard it, but then a minute ago it went really loud, um, um I, don't, I don't know, is that it? Guys can walk through walls, um, <laughs> again, alpha still, <laughs> what just happened? Uh, I've been playing this game for, uh, how long have I been playing this for now? Uh, five hours in total. I did go away for an hour to ten, four hours in total. And I am genuinely loving it despite a few of its flaws. And my blood's gone to minus ten. I assume I'm dead. has not told me that I'm dead yet. But, um, I think that went pretty well for, for this the video. Um, more to come. Wish what more Total War to come? That's what I keep forgetting to do. I got into Shogun though, or for the Samurai again. Like I could find out like a short thing I'm doing to do this character, build them up so they could do this, but then also they're balanced out with that sort of thing. I was playing, I was doing it nicely, but I don't know if you listen to my feed or if you are friends with me on Facebook. I know a few of you are. Um, I kind of may have forgot to save the replays, so. <laughs> Where is me? <laughs> sort of thing. Tired <laughs> is dead, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get like 30 pints of blood back. <laughs> um. 
Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful scenery at, at times as you get fully nice and uh, immersed into it. You know, um, survival elements, a lot of building. I mean, check it out on Steam. It's going to show you your uh, what you can do in a little bit more detail than me just running around and dying in combat. And uh, I I hope you give this game a chance, be it buying it like I did. You know, it was only 10 quid. And I was budgeting myself as well. It's the first time I've cracked and brought a game on Steam because it was cheap in about five to six months, maybe. But I didn't even crack during Christmas. I bought nothing, which I'm still slightly proud of. But, um, yeah, be it if you buy it to try it out or acquire it by other various means of necessity, uh, it's really enjoyable. And I would advise trying it out. If I were to sum it up, I'll say it's kind of like a Mountain Blade meets uh, an old school RPG with the Senku Jedi theme feel to it. Mad Max, did I say this earlier? Mad Max in the Senku Jedi period of Japan while in the desert. That's where the Mad Max comes in, I assume. Um, I'm going to stop babbling now because I have no idea. <laughs> I've been fucking recording for. I've been Coppers, and I hope you enjoyed whatever you can class this video as. I'll see you next time.